Moving on now, Egypt has temporarily opened the Rafah border crossing to allow stranded Palestinians to return home after keeping it shut for more than two months. The crossing will remain open for only two days and will close on Wednesday afternoon. As Press TV's Ashraf Shannon reports, the crossing will be open in only one direction and Gazans won't be allowed to enter Egypt. Egypt has temporarily reopened the Rafah border crossing with Gaza for a period of two days, starting on Tuesday. The crossing was only opened one way to allow Palestinians stranded in Egypt to return to the blockaded coastal enclave. Egypt's restrictions on the Gaza Strip intensified following a deadly bombing that targeted Egyptian security personnel in the Sinai Peninsula in October last year. Continued closure of the Rafah crossing has caused pain and suffering for many people in the Gaza Strip. I took my son to perform a surgery on his eyes on March the 10th, and we were supposed to stay in Egypt for a week, but we stranded in Egypt for nearly three months. You can't even imagine how hard it was for me to be stuck in Egypt with my sick child. Less than 200 people were allowed to return to Gaza on the first day of the reopening of the crossing although thousands of Palestinians are still waiting in Egypt. We have been through hard times in Egypt and we were broke. Only last week, the Palestinian embassy gave us 500 Egyptian pounds. All the people you see around you have had a tough time in Egypt. Egypt's decision to reopen the Rafah crossing in one direction into the Gaza Strip has left thousands of people stranded. People, especially patients and students, have been waiting for months for the crossing to reopen. I need to travel to continue my master's degree and I have been stuck in Gaza for over five months. I am unable to attend my exams in Egypt and this has ruined my hopes for a better future. Despite the temporary reopening of the Rafah crossing, many here believe that Egyptian restrictions are making the Israeli blockade more complex and hurting the people of Gaza. Ashraf Shannon. Press TV Gaza.